Hey guys, welcome to Body Bags. It is Friday and it's week 90. Uh, this week is Blood Week. So anything that has a title, Blood in the... <clears throat> Pardon me. Anything that pretty much the title has blood in it. So that can range from a lot of different titles, which is pretty cool. Uh, I picked a newer film. This one is... Oh, where the fuck are you? I always hate it when you can't find the dates on the DVD. But I think it was a couple of years ago. 2014, maybe? 2012, 2014. That is Blood Glacier. This was a lot of fun. Uh, this is a German film. It takes place in the German mountains. You have a bunch of scientists out there studying the environment. Because for some reason, the environment is changing. And they don't know why. Uh, and also... They've been out there for quite a while, and the environmental environmentalist minister is on her way, who's actually played by the director's mom. <laughs> the director is Marvin uh, Ken? Kren? K-H-E-N, uh, Ken, I want to say. So, his mom is Bridget Ken, and she plays the environmentalist minister. It's pretty funny. <clears throat> Got his mom involved. She's on her way. She has a uh, <clears throat> photography crew to study everything. They're part of the news as well. Uh, she's got her bodyguard. So they're on their way, and they have the other scientists up there. <clears throat> so you have two different groups. Uh, the scientists are studying. They have a gentleman who's pretty much like their liaison. And uh, he's sent out with another scientist to check some stuff out. He's got his dog. So they're out. And they find this weird cave. But the weird thing about this cave is, above it, is the the uh, ice on top of the cave is all red. I mean, this is blood red. And it is huge. It covers a ton of the uh, mountain cap. So, of course, they uh, take a little bit of it to send back to the research lab. But the dog takes off and finds something in the cave and starts, you know, fighting. So, of course, the main dude decides to uh, take off to find his beloved dog. Because him and his dog are, like, best friends. You hear the dog yipe. And, of course, something happens to the dog. He grabs the dog, doesn't know what attacked it, and brings it back to the base camp. Uh, so, of course, they're studying the blood uh, phenomenon that's taking place and it looks like it's all natural but they don't know, understand why how this has ever happened and all of a sudden they're starting to come across mutations now these mutations are mostly in the form of animals so they they find this one that looks like a gigantic uh, pill bug those little beetles that roll up into balls but this is like the size of a football and uh, it is mutated with other animals and they find out if they're going through the food chain, they realize, okay, if a little bug is ingested this blood and another bug or another creature bites it, that creature has now been infected and it starts to mutate with the bug that it ate. So it could grow wings, it could grow claws, it could grow whatever. So of course they're coming across big ass mutations in this film. Now, the crew that is with the environmentalist minister on their way, come across a woman running down the Alps covered in blood. They don't know how, why, but they save her and they try to bring her back, but they're also attacked. This group is now attacked by uh, these bird monster things. And of course, one of the photographers is bit by an infected mosquito. Now, what is weird about this, if you think about this film as maybe a new thing type film, but it only affects animals and insects and anything like that. It doesn't affect humans at all. So all your mutations are creatures, which is really, really uh, awesome. So, of course, the crew is getting attacked and dwindled one by one and everything. They're trying to figure out how to escape and... Very cool premise. I won't give away much because I really enjoyed this film. Now, this is a German film. It's pretty much in German, but it comes with English dubs. I suggest don't watch it with English dubs because the dubbing is way off. 
they'll be talking and all of a sudden, and then they're talking. It just, the lips and the words don't match. It's awful. Just watch it in German. You got the English subtitles. Just read along with it. It's better this way. A lot of cool uh, practical effects. Uh, a lot of cool mutations as well. There's some pretty sick-ass monsters in this film. And uh, so the gore is not as gory as you would think, but it's a great flick. I suggest this film a lot. I give this about an 8 out of 10 for sure. A lot of fun, especially for little creature features. Uh, this was originally called uh, The Station, <clears throat> but it was changed at the last moment. I'm glad it was. Because uh, it was originally they said called the station because that's where they were posted. And then they decided, okay, let's call Blood Glacier because this gla this <clears throat> mound cap, which they called a glacier, is covered in this weird red blood. So they said Blood Glacier. And it works. <clears throat> uh, the cover art is even fantastic. Uh, IFC Min... I think it's Midnight. Nope. IFC... Yep, IFC Midnight. Put this one out because I thought it was before the, uh, the Midnight came out. Usually it's just IFC, but IFC Midnight put this film out, so definitely check it out for sure. Yeah, it's right down in the freaking corner of the case. <laughs> anyway, check out Blood Glacier, guys. I highly recommend this film. It's a lot of fun, especially if you like creature features. If you like uh, The Thing, uh, this one has effects animals only. Pretty cool effects. Uh, and watch it in the German language. Don't watch it dubbed. It's not that good dubbed. It kind of ruins the flick. But I rewatched it again in uh, in German, and it was fantastic. Again, I loved it. Check it out, Blood Glacier. I think it was 2012 or 2014. I know it came out in 2014, but I think it was made in 2012. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you like the rest of Blood Week. Later. Peace.